Hello, we Ninny Bong, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. So, I'm coming back at you with another news roundup, and there is so much news going on at the moment. It's such an exciting time to be a Transformers collector, collector at the moment, whether it's Hasbro or a third party or the Netflix series or whatever it is there's just so much going on at the moment to talk about and it's absolutely fantastic really great time to be a collector if you want to stay up to date around news with these things give us a like share and a subscribe and I'll try and keep you as up to date as I can and um, today we're going to kick off with another news roundup so we're going to take a look at the War for Cybertron Siege Netflix show artwork that got released um, the other day. So the first one here is Magnus charging into action, looking pretty cool here. You can see he's got kind of greyed out shoulder pads, so looking a lot more like the version of him that we get uh, with the spoiler pack. So he looks pretty cool. Uh, this, 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 the, all these artworks look great. The one with the Elite One charging across the battlefield. I'm very excited for these coming through July the 30th now. Um, I'll be binge watching these. I've, I've booked the time off work so I can binge watch and then do a quick review afterwards. So check out this channel for my thoughts on it. And then the third one that got released was a Bumblebee one. This Bumblebee one um, kind of surprises me because Bumblebee is going to be obviously a central character in this. He's on the artwork. We've seen him in all the trailers, but we still haven't got a figure for him. It's so weird that they've managed to kind of resist the urge to release a Bumblebee figure. And we're up to what? Earth Rise Wave 2 now? So it's interesting. Will he get released as a Siege Special Edition um, once the TV series comes out? Uh, be interesting. I really hope that if they do, we get a Cybertronian version and we finally get a figure of the, uh, the the alt mode that we see in the first ever episode of Transformers. That'd be really cool, like they did with the Tetra Jets, and get a B version of that as well. So that'd be pretty cool. I'm hyped for this. Um, what do you think of these new posters? You excited for July the 30th? I'm pretty sure you guys are. Then moving on to um, Kang Toys have just released their version of Dive Bomb. And this thing looks absolutely epic. Uh, at some point, I think that I'm going to end up picking up these these Kang toys. I've been sleeping on them for a minute. Um, but the more I look on them, the better they look. This is kind of exactly what I'm looking at for uh, from some of my third party Transformers at the moment. Not the kind of classic G1 look, but how are you updating it? What are you doing that's different? And this is very different the bot mode of dive bomb just looks absolutely incredible huge looking wingspan but with the wings that look like they can really have great articulation and change them around and when he's in bot mode and the the wings are kind of put back like that it looks so it almost looks majestic it looks absolutely fantastic and then the the alt mode dive bombs alt mode just looks killer so articulated nice way that the um wings all move out there when he's in his kind of landing position you can articulate the legs the wings so that he looks like he's sitting down i think this is absolutely incredible i've got so much love for this figure um i've also seen the land ball version um as well uh so yeah i'm really looking i'm really hyped about um these figures but at the moment um i've got this one i've just started collecting the uh the the tfc c cons as well i've got the first one of those coming and i'm currently collecting the um the st uh, stunticons the x transbots version of stunticons so i can't really start collecting another combiner um but this is probably one that i'm definitely going to pick up i've not got these on release but i am definitely going to look to to pick these up in the long run because they're just so interesting um let me know your thoughts on these Kang toys. Uh, what do you think? This is this is the arm that it transforms onto on their Predator King. Really sharp, needle-like looking fingers. Um, I think it's going to have a really good articulation. But that, that looks like quite a small peg. If that's where it goes into the arm. I don't know how big these are versus some of the other um, 
versions of Predator King that we have. But it'll be interesting to see how big this thing weighs up against the others. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on this one, guys. Are you uh, do you own the pre this uh, one of the Kang toys already? Uh, are you excited about this one? Is this is this what you're kind of looking at now from third party, trying to move away from trying to get just a genuine looking G1, seeing if some third parties can take the G1 concept and idea and just do something a little bit different with it? Um, this looks incredible to me. I can't I can't wait to start uh, picking these guys up. Then on to something completely different. I was absolutely blown away when I finally heard about this collaboration. And today we got a sneak peek at the first figure in this line. We don't know if it's going to be more than one. It's definitely going to be one. And that first one is Gigawatt. So Gigawatt is the character. So as far as I'm aware, this is a completely new character, similar to what they did with Ectotron, which was Ectronomous Dimatron, if you want his full name. Um, but this is pretty cool. Um, the box looks very similar to how they did the Ghostbusters one. It's the classic G1 looking box with uh, a, a crossover elements to it. So for me, this is a perfect box for me um the box art looks amazing accessory rise you get a big hook with it so definitely that's pretty cool and looks like he gets a little gun he has doors that go up at the side so you get those gullwing doors that is pretty cool hats off to hasbro for that one that's pretty good you also get the fold down tires but let's be fair with the transformation you can do that with most of the cars in the, in the stage or the earth rise line i know that prime has a hover car mode definitely and so do quite a few of the other cars as well that you can do that with so that's nothing new when it comes to the transformation um i don't know what all that crap in the windscreen is um that's kind of the only letdown for me i do like the way that the um you know it's silvered up you've got all of the kind of nice molded and painted detail on this figure really really nice everything else just i'm not sure about the crap in the windscreen really bot mode is from a distance is interesting it's it's okay um i don't like it as much as the ectotron this has more of whereas ectotron i would say looked back more at a kind of almost a bridge the gap between the g1 and the new style this one looks very much like it's in a kind of siege style maybe it's a, a rework of um it reminds me a lot of sideswipe so it looks a lot like the sideswipe mold um but very very squared off chest um but looks pretty cool um all in all not bad for a crossover figure um nice to be able to go between the two um close up we can see the head he's got his little flux capacitor i like the idea that you've got all those little dates so you've got october the 12th and uh, no so something the 12th 1955 and then you've got the 2015 date and then you've got Another date in red there that I can't read. Maybe that's the release date of the figure. I'm not sure. Um, head sculpt here looks pretty good. Um, it's nice to have the blue uh, with the silver paint job on there as well. Uh, flux capacitor is blue. Is that the color of the flux capacitor usually? I think it's more of like a greeny red type color. So interesting change on the flux capacitor color. I'm not sure why they went with blue here for this but hey you know it, it matches his eyes i guess you can stare into those eyes and yeah it matches his eyes all in all guys um yeah what are you thinking about this um for me i'm i was really excited about this i'm not sure if this lived up to my full expectations it looks good it looks it looks like a good vehicle mode um and a pretty good bot mode as well and um, the fact just the fact that we can get a transforming delorean you know it doesn't matter what it looks like to be fair we <laughs> i'd be picking this up to add to my collection but all in all it looks like a nice piece uh I, i'm not as hyped about this as the ecto one i don't think it's as good a piece as the ecto i think the ecto still and uh, without having this in hand just looking at pictures side by side i'd still go for the for the ecto over this um but let me know your thoughts on this guys uh, you hyped about this do you think this is better than the the ghostbusters crossover that we got um you're definitely going to be picking this one up 
What do you think about the Kang toys? And are you hyped for Siege? I certainly am hyped for Siege. And it's nice to actually see this figure. Uh, fingers crossed they do a train next. Where's the train? We need the train. We need that train. All right, guys. So I'll see you in the next video in a bit. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in a bit. Peace.